Hi everyone, happy new release day, happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for showing some love to Series 1 Baseball. Here's 2024's top Series 1 Baseball. Jumbo Edition 6 box, pick your team number 6. From jazbeescasebreaks.com. No vet common ship, everything else does. Big thanks to everyone here for making it happen on the 14th. Got Joe with double last spot mojo. He got the Marlins and the Nationals. So it's got those stars next to his name. Last spot mojo, they say 70% of the time hits 100% of the time. That's what, that's what people say. All right, there's your six right there. That's true, first day of Lent, if you're into that sort of thing. If you're into giving things up. And then uh, doing all that sort of stuff. Is Arnold Schwarzenegger still with Maria Shriver? They are not together. Down the street, they uh, that's where that's where they used to uh, that's where they used to go to uh, church. There's a Catholic church that's near uh, not too far from my my house in Santa Monica. I do like the design now that I've seen it in person. I realize that this is going to be the design throughout the year. Series 2 will look like this, Update will look like this, Topps Chrome will look like this. So I'm, I'm actually looking, really looking forward to the Topps Chrome versions of these, which could be, which could really pop, which could look really nice. All right, we got some hoops action happening tonight, a lot of basketball games, our brains are shifting to hoops now, right? Because of uh, no more NFL. Hoops and baseball. At the, at the half, Hawks are in Charlotte. Hornets are up 61 to 55. Almost the end of the first half. Magic are up on the Knicks 65 to 55. At the half, Heat at Sixers. Sixers are up 62 to 60. Nets Celtics just wrapped up the first quarter. Celtics have doubled up the Nets, 30 to 15. Um, I've got Chicago at Cleveland on the background, and Chicago is leading 32 to 25, nearing the end of the first quarter. That's our ESPN game. Pacers at Toronto. Pacers are in Toronto, and uh, Pacers are uh, down. Raptors are up 30 to 24, about a minute 30 left in that first quarter. How much were the Cubs, Rex is asking? Cubs are $24.99. Great price for a popular team. They're Shea Langliers to $4.99. So obviously these gold borders will ship. The 1989 cards will ship, the rookie cards will ship. It's just that these won't. Gila wishes they uh, match the text, match the team a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, they kind of do. They do have these team border ones as well, which look pretty sharp. Obviously, the common cards will be uh, Corbin Carroll for Ross. And here's Marco Luciano for the my rivals, the Giants, EA for the Giants. One of their, their top prospects. 
Should get regular playing time this year. I think he had a cup of coffee last year, right? Maybe a little bit more than that. Joe's remind us Yukon Huskies, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern. I gotta, I gotta start getting my brain into college basketball as well, especially with a tournament in a few weeks or so. Yeah, they, they, they threw in some uh, cut autos into this product this year, which I think is pretty cool. So that's something for people to look out for. There's the autograph. It's Hunter Green. Reds, that's gonna be for EA and the Reds. Local guy from the LA area. It's Michael Massey for the Royals. As most of you may know, the key rookies that we're kind of sleeving and, and, and taking care of are, would be Ellie De La Cruz for the Reds, Evan Carter for the Rangers, Jason Dominguez for the Yankees, there's Ellie, and uh, Junior Caminero for the Rays, which I feel like we did not see much of in the first case, at least base cards. We did see a 1989 version. Uh, Hunter Brown Relic is going to go to Mark and the Strohs. City Connect Relic. And that's EA with the Reds. Maybe we'll find some parallels of that guy, EA. Yeah, I mean, they didn't get rid... They didn't do away with it. They're still in here, but there's just not as many of them. I think last case we only saw one like commemorative medallion or stadium card or whatever they call it. Manufactured stuff still there, but far less of it, which which I like. Jason Dominguez will go to Tristan and his Yankees. Yeah, I do like the vibe of this this year. They definitely Definitely included a lot of cool stuff this year. Some some special cut autos, you know, which are probably near impossible to find in a product like Series One, where they make tens of thousands of cases of these. But hey, it'd be pretty sweet if we hit one. Wow. Yeah, what not, I think, the unsubstantiated buzz and rumor on what not, there's Pete Alonzo for the Mets, is that sometimes there's a bit of a credibility challenge there. There's Jason Dominguez, in this insert right here, greatest hits, Jason Dominguez for Tristan and the Yankees. Wait, so how's he doing it? Well, the chat caught it. He tried to do it twice in the same break? The guy supposedly sweats the hits by putting them off to the side till the end. And then he put a couple off screen. One ended up being an Ellie autograph. Yeah. If you're new to group breaking, that th those are red flags right there. You know, we always try to keep everything just on camera, keep the boxes on camera, try to keep these silver packs on camera. You know, for sweating hits, it's gonna be right there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna put hits over there. Although the camera can still see over here. Yeah, I mean, unless they're established, you know what I mean, but. Well, 
Well, so what happened? Oh, by the way, this is a new break, so I'll remind everybody again. Um, we're going to go... So for these teams right there, for just the base versions, we're going to um, evenly distribute it amongst the Blue Jays, the Rays, and the Yankees for just these base versions. Any other, like, parallels or foils or whatever, we'll, uh, we'll do left, center, right randomizers on those. Yeah, I don't know why people would take the risk on that. I mean, it's not like, I mean, Ellie Dela Cruz is valuable, but it's not like it's a million dollar card or anything like that. Why, why risk your, your, your reputation, your entire client base for that? Well, who, who is this person? Name and shame, Rex. Name and shame. We usually don't talk about the other guys, but in this situation, we want people to avoid that person. Kept the Ellie under a base and tried to pretend it was part of the base? Stupid. It's Jonah Heim to 2024. And Garrett Mitchell got a bit of the pinstripe in here. <laughs> it's, well, it's Rex. You hear about that one guy? Yeah, never shot with that guy. There's Garrett Mitchell, piece of the jersey, going to Michael and the Brew Crew. No, Rex respects the hobby. He has respect for the hobby. All right, first box in the books. Uh, we'll save these silver packs to the end. Well, I wonder what, what's the consequences from for this person. What what is has what not done anything about this? NBA games are happening today. Rockets at Grizzlies just tipped off. Wizards at Pelicans just tipped off. We got Spurs in... Uh, the Spurs are in Dallas tonight. We got Kings at Nuggets. I think the Pistons are in Phoenix. Uh, Lakers on a back-to-back. -back. They're in Utah facing uh, Logan's Jazz. And the late game on ESPN is Clippers at Warriors. Clippers at Warriors. And Donovan Mitchell just got smacked in the face. He's on the ground. Last you saw, they were still denying it. Well, who are these guys? All right, the auto was on this stack last time. Maybe all the, maybe they're going to be in this stack for this entire break. Let's see. There's a Goldschmidt relic right there. Major League material for the Cardinals. Brett with the Cardinals. Game use as well. I like all, all these. Oh, LA Breakers are their names. What? They're around here? Where Do you know where in LA? The autographs on this side. It's going to be Wade Meckler, rookie auto for the Giants. That's going to be for EA in the Giants. Yeah. 
130 out of 199. I mean, unless there's recordings of it, I mean, I suppose it's really just going to be their word against everyone else's word at that point. Tariq Skubel to 2024. And there's Alex Rodriguez to 199. Piece of the lumber for Tristan and the Yankees. And that's numbered as well. 192 out of 199. Yeah, that's right, Gila. Probably Angels fans. Luis Robert. Ooh, look at this. This is the true photo. Salvador Perez. I think it's called true photo, right? Is it called true photo, Jay? Uh, true. The one without the border? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's called true photo. So no border, no nothing, just the tops logo right there. That's it. That actually looks kind of cool. It's a stadium club vibe to it. Yeah, has no border, so. Nice. And that's for uh, Kyle Armstrong. Kyle with Kansas City. Nice. Pretty cool. Woo! I feel like I've not seen a a base junior Caminero. He's only in the 89 set. Oh, he's only the 89 set. Okay, thank you, Jay. I know, I thought about two in the first place. So that's what this usually looks like. Here's well, Nick, a, this guy's not even in this product. Side by side. But yeah, he's in the... Right, so I did see one 89 one in the last case. So maybe that probably makes those more valuable then. Yeah, he probably is like a Series 2 update guy. Got it. Put Ellie in this one, Caminero in the next one. Let me see how, I see what they're up to. All right, so I won't stress about not seeing that guy. There's Nolan Arenado. Oh, is it? Yeah, I guess that is a little, I guess they should make that blue, right? Maybe. Maybe it doesn't match up as much as it should. Oh no, their logo resembles the Dodgers logo. They don't have a website though? Oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Dodger with, bad eggs, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when you have eggs. millions and millions and millions of fans, not all of them are gonna be honorable. Not Jaspies though. Jaspies Dodger fans are honorable. It's Jason Dominguez. Yeah, I guess like, maybe that should be more of like a navy blue sort of thing. Or maybe there's only two different colors. Or three different colors. So that's what they're rolling with. Maybe that's the theme. So it's just white, gold, blue, and orange? Or is that red? And red? Maybe that's it. Although the red's not being red, it's kind of weird too. So maybe these are the only colors they're, they're working with for the team names.
Another Ellie Dela Cruz for EA. We want to try to find some parallels now of this guy. Maybe an auto? Still got a lot of case left, so maybe we'll see it. There's Evan Carter uh, for Tristan in Texas. Uh, any of those kind of key rookies we want to see, you know, just different parallels of them. Oh no. Yeah, don't 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 undermine a youth soccer team, Rex. Easy. This is how this is how bad internet rumors start. Well, we we know the names of them, so we don't have to. We can move on. Let's not give them too much time. It's even probably even shadier that they don't have an easily accessible website. All right, there's a Marlins team card, silver. Corey Seager, Shohei, 1989. Taylor's version. All right, another box. Like I said, by the time I'm done with this, probably be closer to the top of the hour. I'll probably, uh, I will take my dinner break right after that. And then we'll, uh, hopefully by the time, by the end of this break and by the end of my dinner break, hopefully we'll have the next break sold out. Let's get an update. Break seven, still holding at five. Now, from what I remember before I started this break, Picker Team 7 was all uh, all $20 teams, which is something everyone can afford, I think. So if you have not joined a break in a bit, for $20, why not give it a shot? You might stumble into something cool. Now, as, as you may or may not know, I do enjoy a little... Uh, a little investment in the fortunes of some some teams here so I'm on this is way too early though I feel like most games are decided in like the last five minutes of the game but I'm on Charlotte plus six and a half and they are leading the Hawks 70 to 57 so far so good there I'm on Orlando minus seven and a half they're leading the Knicks 70 to 58 I'm on Toronto money line and they are leading the Pacers 51 to 43 a lot of time left in those games I'm on Memphis plus two and a half that's in the first quarter I'm on Utah minus five and a half against my Lakers. No LeBron tonight. And I'm on the Clippers plus three and a half against the Warriors. I'm on Wemby. Three blocks plus at, at least three blocks, at least one steal parlay at plus 147. I feel like that's easy money, right? <laughs> Nothing's easy. Nothing's easy money. I thought the Dodgers were playing a week early than everyone else, but it's only a day earlier. What do you mean? I mean, they started spring training a week earlier than everybody else. But they're, it's mostly because they're preparing for the, uh, the two games in, in Korea and Seoul, which will be pretty awesome, I think. What time is that? What time is that going to be my time? Yeah, I, I feel like, especially with Series 1, which, which usually kind of in my internal calendar kind of feels like, you know, the official start to the baseball season to me. So with this Series 1, yeah, I definitely feel like, here's Sal Freelich for the Brewers. That's going to be for Michael. You know, this, this really does kind of get me jazzed up for the, uh, for the baseball season, that's for sure.
You you thought you meant the first games were a week before everyone else because they. Were... Wait, what? Yeah, their first games are. Those Korea games are official games. So that's, I think that's a week or so before everybody, before everyone else. And that's why they have an early early start to their spring training. Them and the Padres, because the, the Dodgers are playing the Padres. So I think they play two games in Korea. I think the other half of the team is probably going to stay and finish out some like split squad games. And then I think there's another week of spring training and then they come back. But the first Cubs game is the 23rd? There's Aaron Nola. Wait, I'm... I don't think so, Rex. Dodgers play on the 20th and 21st. Everyone else starts on the 28th. And the Cubs are playing the Rangers. Come on, Rex. Baseball is your sport. You should know these things. This is uh, Phillies. Jerry with the Phillies. Rex looking at spring training calendars. Nice home field advantage, Mike Trout. Again, we got him in the last case. Are there are there more? Wow, CBS is broadcasting a Cubs White Sox spring training game. Uh, Angels, that's going to be for Kevin. I'm actually double trade. There's got to be other home field advantage cards, right? But you, you can check the checklist. I'll, we'll keep moving on here. Yeah, I'm talking about real games, Rex. The Dodgers and Padres are playing in Korea the 20th and 21st. Those are official regular season baseball games. Then the entire league starts on the 28th. Yeah, so those those two games in Korea are not uh, are not spring training games. That's what makes it kind of unique. Yeah, they did. Do, I think the Dodgers were in Australia, too, a number of years ago. I, did they tell about that? Maybe not. But um, hopefully the Dodgers have learned some lessons from that trip because I feel like the, their, their, season, their season started um, kind of sluggishly after that. So yeah, so the Dodgers will be 2-0 and a week before everyone else. It was Kyle Tucker, piece of the lumber. Going to the Astros, that'll be for Mark H. Yeah, spring training games have, have lost you know, have lost uh, their meaning for me. It's like, hurry up, let's get to the regular season. 
I know the players have to play those games to warm up to the warm up for a long season. I get, I get that, but uh, they're just not interesting to me. Real games, yeah, give me more of those. Jonathan India, gold. <laughs> I mean, it's not very many Padres fans that are that are not enough to be here in the stream and defend the Padres, right? Are there Padres fans here? Christian bought the Padres, but I don't know if he's a Padres fan. Evan Carter. Oh, Hector is a Padres fan. All right. Hector, you excited about those Korea games? It's kind of funny because... Uh, or not funny, but the, the Dodgers do not have a Korean player, but the Padres do. So it could be a big uh, Padres, Korean Padres contingent out there. When are they starting that special series for the top prospects? Oh yeah, I kind of, what, what was that? I kind of remember them saying something that they were gonna get some prospects together for like a two or three game series or something like that. There's Miguel Cabrera to 2024 for the Tigers. That'll be for Brett. Yeah, me too. Early start to the season is always, is always nice. March 14th through 17th, nice. I think that's a good idea, because a lot of the time, the top prospects who aren't gonna make you know, the team are usually in some backfield of the spring training facility or something like that, and they're not getting too much game time. They're not getting too much game time with the regulars. So that gives them an opportunity to play like, you know, more games. Get some more playing time in, so that'd be nice. And a good showcase for the youngsters, too. Which is a good time to keep an eye out for some of the rookies that are here. You know, that are, are going to get more Major League action this year. It's a good time to see if they're going to be any of those games. Have they announced any rosters or anything like that, Rex? Maybe it's too early. We will have to wait till everyone reports. You watch another who's a Padre, he calls them the daddies, the dads. I've heard them, I've never heard daddies, but I've heard Padres fans refer to their team as the dads. I've heard some Dodgers fans here call them the Madres. I've heard that. All right. Lead off with Jason Dominguez right here. I don't know how much of a burn that is. There's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with Madres. Nothing wrong with that. Here are those team logo border cards, which I think are pretty sharp. That's Jordan Balazovic. And that'll be for the twins. Chad with the twins. And there's a Juan Soto. Still Padres edition here. This will be going to uh, Christian from the Padres. And we got Ozerania. We 
There's a Freddy Peralta, silver. Nice Ellie Della Cruz for the Red Legs, EA. Jacob Amaya, gold. There's an Evan Carter. This will go to the Dodgers, the Mookie Betts. Has anyone done this home run challenge before? What do I do? Register and choose the date you think this player will hit a home run. If he does, you win a parallel card. Feeling brave, go all or nothing and double down to predict if the ball will travel more than 425 feet for a special parallel card. Wow. And all challenge registrants will be entered into the grand prize drawing for the trip to the home run derby. 2025 home run derby. Not this year's, but next year's. Where's the 2025 all-star game? All right, and there's Trey Turner, game use memorabilia. Yeah, I think Jorge Soler, I feel like, kind of banged in a lot of home runs last year. He's only 31. Yeah, he had 36 homers last year, so... $14 million a year for three years. I mean, to get 36 home runs. It's a bargain these days. Fangraphs projecting the Royals to win 73 games. A 20-win 20 game, 20 improvement. That's good. AL Central seems winnable. You know, so maybe they'll be active in the trade window, get some, add some players. Daniel, what's going on? Yeah, you've come to the right place for breaks. A lot of Series 1 today. There's J.D. Davis. Alonzo, gold. We got Ryan Presley to 2024. And then Evan Carter, silver. Nice. This is the sort of stuff we want to see. E no, Tristan with the Rangers in this one. Pick your team six. You know what? No. Every once in a while, they'll do replays of that, of Carded on MLB TV. And I'll kind of watch it. It looks kind of cool. Astros, that'll be for Mark. Think I could be a future host of that show, Gila? Bobby Witt Jr. Gold. Nice. That kind of fits with that with that font color there, Gilo. That one's gonna go to Kyle and the Royals and pick your team six.
and Jake Berger. For just a $20 Marlins, Joe with the Marlins. Last spot mojo, 70% of the time, strikes 100% of the time. For 70% of the last spot mojo teams. He, he's got double last spot mojo. And that's the 199. There's a big White Sox prospect for a little bit. I feel like he could uh, still be a little bit of a late bloomer. See what he does this season. All right, two boxes left. And then silver packs. And then a randomizer for the left, center, right cards. I don't think we haven't seen any parallels for those left, center, right cards. And then a uh, recap. Then after this, these final two boxes, I will take a bit of a break, refuel, get some food into the system, and then we'll hopefully have another break of Series 1 knocked out, or any many break, but Series 1 is the new release today. Let's do, get an update on Picker Team 7. It's down to four teams. And all of those teams that are remaining are only $20. So maybe we can get that sold out now, lock it into the schedule for uh, after my dinner, and then uh, we'll work on Pick Your Team 8, which only has six teams left. And pick your team nine, only has eight teams left. We can do all of those cases tonight, maybe even post break 10, you know, once we get down to break nine. What do you think? So if you miss out on your teams, maybe you could help out fill up the other three breaks just so we can get to a fresh case and then you can snag your team. Um, Evan Carter for the Rangers is a rookie here. Jason Dominguez has the official rookie badge on his card this year. Junior Caminero uh, only has 1989 design card in here, but but those are those are some of the the key guys. Now, obviously, you know any one of these players could could blossom into a chase this season. So it'll be fun to kind of see who those might be. Here's Luis Robert, and here is MJ Melendez. I don't know about you, Gilo, but I kind of like those City Connect jerseys. So that's going to go to Kyle and the Royals. And hey, speaking of which, there's Junior Caminero. That's for EA and the Rays. You, know, you never know. It could be any of these these rookies that could blossom into a chase card at some point this year. Oh, the Cubs like those because they sold the design? I mean, technically it's Nike designers, right? So maybe they just got lazy. They're like, eh, we'll just give the Cubs the same one. <laughs> Is it really similar? I think the Dodgers are getting another City Connect jersey this year. There's another handful of teams with... Some more City Connect jerseys. I feel like the the Dodger City Connect jersey is a little kind of safe. Oh, I'm gonna save one of these because that's gonna represent the randomizer we'll do later. Actually, let's put that right over there. And woo, this is Brian Woo, Mariners. Mark with the Mariners. And then we got a Mitch Keller to 2024. Be for EA and the Pirates. The Buckos. Got an Astros no hitter card.
Daniel Vogelbach for the Mets. The Ranger City Connect jerseys are kind of cool too, I think. That's the 73. I knew that looked different from the get. That black border right there. Nathaniel Lowe for the Rangers. Now these cards look pretty pretty cool, but I guess the, the downside of having these black cards right there, sometimes the grading is gonna be a little difficult there. I think that, that corner was a little weak, but five out of 73. So just something to look out for, to keep in mind. guy could be another another rookie to look out for this year for the Orioles. EA has the Orioles. Colton Kowser. There's Evan Carter for Tristan. Appreciate the copy and paste. Is it the one that says Wrigleyville across it? I don't know if it's that similar. The color scheme is very similar. I guess the hat looks kind of similar. I mean, they could have done something a little more different, but I, th I thought if like the fonts were exactly the same, I guess design elements are pretty similar. And Andy Rodriguez. There's an Eloy Jimenez, piece of the lumber. Yeah, I guess, yeah, and the font's not anything really special either. The two-tone hats are kind of cool, though. Uh, Siegel with the uh, White Sox, and there's J.P. Sears. How I feel about the about the Dodger City Connect jerseys, just all blue, and then it just says Los Dodgers on the front. Team card right there. The, the shade of blue is nice. I just wish, uh, I mean, maybe they wanted to be safe with the first City Connect jersey, knowing that there'd be others. Maybe they'll do something a little more, more radical.
At least you just make it Lakers colors. <laughs> All right, final box. Good luck. Are we trending to a point where it's going to be like soccer? Like in uh, in the English Premier League, especially. I think the other European leagues do it too. There is a new jersey every year. A new kit. A new shirt. Every year. And that might be what it, it's it's trending towards. Although I guess the the home shirts, like the primary shirts, are still pretty are still pretty much the same. Just sometimes it's like a crew neck. Sometimes it's a V neck. Sometimes it's you know sometimes there's subtle changes. So but I wonder if if, if they'll. If, that's what it's trending to, maybe in the next 10, 15 years. I do kind of like the Padres. If I was a Padres fan, I think I would definitely... And a, and a guy that buys jerseys. I'm not really a jersey guy, buy a jersey guy, but... Yeah, those City Connects are, are kind of cool. Logan's here. I think we missed something in your chat, Rex. Rex is just saying he was talking about how early in stand-up career he would tell a joke and if it didn't work, he would get enraged and start berating them. He would tell all the comics beforehand. That sounds like Larry David. I'm gonna, who is Larry David? Let's go, Larry David. Again, no name, but he was always talking about how when he was a writer on SNL, he roughly quit. He came back two weeks later acting like nothing happened. Right, which was then immortalized in a Seinfeld episode. I'm assuming it's Larry David. Listen, listen to it or watch it. Again, very vague, but I'm assuming it's some sort of podcast where Larry David has regurgitated the same stories that I've already heard. <laughs> Logan doesn't like Larry David. I love Larry David. Big fan. I, I have to start watching this season's curve. Right, Rex Rex does not did not like all that slander on the Cub City Connect jerseys. Yeah, this I stopped listening to that podcast, Rex Conan, because it's just especially for the people that I, I you know that I like a lot. You just tell the same stories. No need. No need to listen to it. So the guests that I'm, I'm actually interested in, are, you know, I've heard the stories before. Nothing, nothing new is happening on there. Yeah, PJ, once, once we start selling more of those out, I think we've got to, we probably can post another case or two. If you help sell out the ones we have now, you get closer to posting more, sooner rather than later. All right, there's a Freddie Peralta to 2024. Here's a Aaron Nola for the Phillies. That's for Jerry. Piece of the game, worn jersey. Yeah, Gilo's argument is that he thinks those City Connect, the Kansas City, the Cubs City Connect jerseys look pretty close to the Cubs one. He thinks that Nike just got lazy. There's Justin Steele and just kind of used the elements of the Royals design. Or maybe the Cubs directed Nike to make it look like the Royals. Well, I don't know which came out first. That actually, I don't know. I'm assuming the Royals City Connect came out first. Another Ellie De La Cruz. Right, 
Royals for sure came out first. Was it Jason Dominguez? Oh, and a Bo Naylor. That Bo Naylor is a relic. He's of his jersey. Game used. Cleveland, this is for you. John with the Guardians. Oh, the Cubs didn't come out until last season. Got it. Uh, Tristan has the Yankees. Oh, another junior Caminero. So his only rookie cards are uh, are in the 1989 insert design. So it looks like Series 2 or maybe Update will see his proper rookie cards, right? Because I don't think he was R he, he didn't have the RC badge last year, right? I don't think he did. Nike angered Cubs fans with the new home jersey. Fans are saying they're lazy. The font is really pretty terrible. That's what it sounds like. There's Mickey Moniak. Seems to have been, been uh, reviving his career in Anaheim. That's going to go to Kevin and the Angels. Wow, shots fired. Logan, Logan says, my vacuum broke, but I put a Royal sticker on it. Now it sucks again. So I wonder, does the club have any input on the City Connect jerseys? I mean, should, should, the, should fans be mad at the organization? Are they green lighting that jersey? They look at it and they're like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we need some intrepid reporter to get to the bottom of this. Joe Adele, gold. for Tristan and the Rangers. Not the City Connect ones, but the regular home jerseys they missed about the oh, We're talking about City Connect jerseys, Rex. Try to stay on track, sir. Wait, what, what's, wait, what did they screw up <laughs> with the regular home jerseys, the main home jerseys? What did they screw up there? kind of hard to screw up. It's just a Cubs logo. It's right. Isn't it just white with the pinstripes? Is there something wrong with that? It's just the same logo it's always been. Or are you saying this year's jersey? You can't mess up that font. That font's been there for a hundred years. All right, silver packs. Uh, no randomizer because there was no uh, cards that were like a foil or anything like that. So these these cards will just be evenly distributed to those three teams right there. As I mentioned before. Wait, what? Hasn't that always been the font? I'm confused, Rex. Maybe it hasn't been? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I've never heard that. I've, uh, Logan bought a Padres New Era hat 
It says Padres in the front, but Blue Jays on the back, like on the, like the strap. That's funny. I wonder how many of those hats are like that before they noticed that. I mean, the Cubs logo has been like that for a very long time. There's really nothing they can really screw up, I guess. So I don't know, I don't know what, I mean, I guess fans will complain about anything. Nice Jason Dominguez, silver pack. Oh, they, they said you can keep the... That is kind of funny. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised that that sort of stuff doesn't happen more often. Uh, these guys aren't on the list of our key rookies, but I'm going to sleeve these for you anyway, EA, because this is like a top five pick, Colton Kowser. And I think Heston Kirkside was a top five pick too. Well, it's an Orioles first round pick, but doesn't say the overall pick position, but anyway, upside possibilities. Another Jason Dominguez. There's the Padre City Connect and Buster Posey to close things out. No randomizer. So here's the recap. What fan base in the NBA is the worst? <laughs> Probably the Lakers. <laughs> My Lakers. All right, here's the recap. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting in. Thanks for watching. We got more in the store, all that jazz. Appreciate you. That was, that's a cool variation right here. True photo variation. I'm going to snap a picture of that. Still haven't seen some of the big rookie names like parallels or autos even. So we're still chasing after that. So let's keep filling up those breaks. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll series one with you some more next time. Bye-bye.